Hey, thanks for joining me today. After watching this video, you will know how to make a delicious sauteed halibut with a saffron cream sauce. Also, homemade purple potato gnocchi. I made that on the last video, so go back and watch that. So we're gonna use about six ounces of this homemade purple gnocchi, and then one six ounce piece of halibut. I already steeped a little bit of saffron. You wanna do about five saffron strands per person. The saffron, in order to pull out as much color and flavor as I can, I warmed up about one tablespoon of water and put in about 10 strands of saffron. So that's good for about two people. And that just helps, you know, the longer it steeps, you're gonna be sure to pull out all that flavor. You can add the saffron directly to the dish when you're making it, but you know, if you're making a cream sauce in the pan, that's probably only gonna take five minutes. So you're not giving a lot of time to extract that color and flavor out of the stigma. Saffron comes from the crocus plant. There's a plant that 90% of it is grown in Iran. Quite a bit of it's grown in Spain also. So the technique is salt, pepper, the halibut, dredgen flour, saute the halibut in about a teaspoon of butter until it gets to about 140 degrees internal temperature or about three minutes on each side. Then after, incorporate some cream and the saffron into that halibut pan and let it reduce to form just a fantastic rich saffron taste. The gnocchi, I'm just gonna to toss that in boiling salted water. As soon as it starts to float, it's done. And then I'm gonna to toss it just a little whole butter, about a teaspoon, and put it over the dish. One reason I'm tossing it in butter instead of just mixing it into the cream sauce, which you can do, it should just look a little better because the purple color should stand out more if it's coated in just light butter than if it's coated with cream. I think the color will pop more. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is pretty simple, but I'm just gonna melt a little bit of butter, about a teaspoon in a pan, and that I'm gonna toss my gnocchi when it's done. You can skip this step and just toss the gnocchi in with the saffron cream sauce and the halibut. This is more, I think it'll just look better for presentation. And if you're gonna do a bunch of these, you know, you could bake all these pieces of halibut or whatever fish you choose, you know, salt, pepper them, flour them, put them in a hot oven, 400 to 500 degree oven for like 10 minutes and cook to 140 internal temperature. And then after have a big batch of your saffron sauce ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna cook the halibut. And the gnocchi takes about, you know, maybe four minutes to cook, it's just until it floats. And usually I let it go for about another 30 seconds after it floats. So you want to have your water at least at a low simmer with the salt already in it. So I have my halibut that's already been floured. This isn't gonna be an extremely hot pan because I'm using butter and butter will start to brown around 350 degrees. I'm not putting in any, any garlic or other spices or herbs just cause saffron, you know, it's so good on its own merit and it's not something you have all the time. So you really want it to stand out. Okay, now I'll put in the halibut away from me. Turn down the flame just a little bit. It'll be about three minutes on this side, then I'll flip it over until that pan's already a little hot, so I'm gonna remove it because the butter's starting to brown. So I'm gonna put it as low as it could go. It's been about three minutes on this side. Flip that over, it looks good. You know, I don't use a thermometer all the time because I feel like my experience is pretty good, but there's nothing wrong with using it constantly even if you have a lot of experience. Because all fish should be about 140, and this is at 70 degrees now. So just to give you an idea, when I flipped it at 70. Now I do want to start putting in my saffron and cream before it's fully cooked when it's at about 125 to 130 degrees internal temperature, add in your saffron and cream. My gnocchi water is going on that back burner, so that's ready to go. My butter's ready to go. Have my gnocchi ready, everything's set. About at 120, so I'm gonna put in the saffron that's been steeping in a little warm water. This is basically kind of like deglazing. Now I'm gonna add the gnocchi to the back pan. Now I'll put about a quarter cup of cream. Now it's just a matter of reducing down a little bit. So I will add a little salt. Cream again has no salt at all, so you need to add a little bit when you introduce the cream. And now we just want that to reduce down a bit. And the way you could tell a cream sauce is done is when you could like get a spatula. This is a heat treated spatula. And you see how it doesn't run back. The thicker it gets, it'll stay parted for a while. If it gets too thick, you either could add more cream, which is just gonna make it richer, or like a couple drops of water, you know, like a quarter teaspoon of water if it gets too thick. And it can get very thick, like a gravy almost. So it's usually not something you want. When it's that thick, it's almost too rich. So that looks really good. I'm gonna turn that off and set it aside. 
bubbling away there. Hey, does that look fabulous? It smells wonderful. Wish you were here to try it. You're not. Thanks again. Go ahead and give this a try. Saffron's definitely a treat. So thanks for joining me. Now go cook for someone you love.